Hello and welcome back to the Panthers Tracks podcast. I am your host, Ellis Williams. We have a special edition of the pod today, a jam-packed preview edition, and I am joined by the one and only Scott Fowler. Scott, how are you doing? I'm great, Ellis. Thanks for letting me join you. Of course. I'm glad we're finally able to do this in our beautiful podcast studio. If I sound a little crisper and we look a little sharper, that's because we're here at the Launch Factory uh, in our beautiful studio, as I mentioned. Before we get going in the, this jumbo preview edition, uh, a little bit of house cleaning. Uh, he, we here at the Charlotte Observer have a beautiful preview edition of our paper coming out the day of the Browns. Panthers season opener. Of course, it is Browns week uh, as the Panthers are gearing up for their week one opener. That paper comes out the day of the game, as I said, September 11th. You'll see a beautiful A1 front done by our award-winning editorial cartoonists. We are extremely excited about it. We've poured a a ton of time, resources, and, and concepts into this. Please go pick it up. Enjoy that cover, but also eat up what is inside. We have five or six stories focusing on keys of the season of course we'll have schedules some betting props uh just a a really jam-packed section for you guys to enjoy what should be a very intriguing panther season of course scott one of those keys is head coach matt rule and how he performs on the sidelines this year as the leader of the carolina panthers he's one of the keys But he's also one of the number one storylines going into this season, not just for the Panthers, but really league wide. Let's start there at unpacking what is a couple of the biggest storylines going into this year, starting with Matt Rule. Scott, everyone is aware of it. No one's really talking about it here. How hot is Matt Rule's seat and just how big of a storyline is this going into the season compared to Panther seasons past? Well, it's pretty warm. Uh, that's a that's a pretty hot seat. If you look at the betting uh, odds in Las Vegas, he is in every one of them, Ellis, uh, listed as the most likely coach right. to be fired first in this season. Now, those things, of course, take them with a grain of salt, but Matt Rule has gone 10-23 and 23 in two seasons. Uh, he's – but, on, alternately, he turned around Temple and Baylor in year three – This is year three, so it's a huge year for him. I mean, basically, they have to win enough for Matt. They have to show significant progress for Matt Rule to keep his job. He hasn't acted, I don't think. You've been around practice more than me, but he doesn't act like a guy who's about to lose his job. Seems pretty calm and collected and, I think, uh, fairly relaxed. But if they start 0-4 or something goes really wrong in the first month, Uh, this will be the overriding storyline of the season. 100%. And I'm glad you mentioned Matt's demeanor throughout this this preseason, this training camp. Um, He has seemed lighter. He seems like he's having more fun. We even asked P.J. Walker recently at the podium, now the backup quarterback for the Carolina Panthers after uh, a slew of injuries here, obviously uh, first to Matt Corral, who will not play this year due to a Liz Frank injury, and Sam Darnold likely out uh, at least four weeks. Uh, We asked P.J., you know, you've been around Matt Rule for the bulk of your football life. Is this a a version of Matt um, that seems more fun and more loose? Um, and he said, he responded, yes. And, and definitely as a Carolina Panther, he mentioned that what stands out uh, different from years past is that this is becoming more of a team-led, or excuse me, player-led team. Uh, and that is consistent with what we've seen uh, Shaq Thompson say. Uh, you know, we don't really get much from Christian, but Matt always highlights Christian as one of the guys he goes to um, in a pinch or just trying to get a pulse of the team. Mm-hmm. Um, 